This game is tea and is not suitable for kids. <laughs> Don't let your kids watch it! Ah, spoiler alert! Hey there, Artie! And guess. Welcome back to the best game of all time. Miles at your face, Dirty Investigations 2, Prosecutor's Path. I don't know about that. Okay, but... okay, I'm exaggerating, but it's, uh, I really like it. And you, you said you really like the first case so far. I like so the far. first case so far. Yep. I will say, though, I woke up like 15 minutes ago. And Artie was like, do you want to record? I'm like, uh... The, because sure. I was up at, like, 8. I, was... I, I already did my online church. Okay. <laughs> I thought you would be up by now, yeah, anyhow. Yeah, I, I, I went to bed at 2 a.m. Oh, anyhow, we're cross-examining John Doe, Doe, who's clearly not anyone else. <laughs> the person in the raincoat is suspicious. So you admit that the person in the red raincoat is suspicious? Yes, I have been watching your investigation from the audience seating. An assassin? How dreadful. <laughs> that doesn't mean he was injured. Uh -huh. What if I had evidence to prove that he was injured? You certainly seem confident. I expected no less of you, Mr. Prosecutor. Hmm, you know of me. It's because you're famous, sir! Maybe he read about you in the newspaper. I have been observing your investigation. This man is clearly suspicious. <laughs> <laughs> if I expose his lies, I should be able to uncover the assassin's true identity. Clearly my left arm is injured, but I can still use my right arm. No, oh, he's eating ice cream. That looks quite severe. When did you suffer that injury? A short while ago. Th that's it? Even preparing a single ice cream cone is now a difficult task. Due to the injury, I could not hold an umbrella with my left hand. When it was raining, I used an umbrella. <laughs> okay. I don't like raincoats. From what I can see, you don't seem to be carrying an umbrella. I'm sure you're well aware that the rain stopped just before the incident occurred. I do remember. Afterwards, the number, number of spectators swelled. It hasn't even been an hour since then. Are you saying you lost it in only a matter of minutes? Yes, exactly. Having your umbrella stolen in that crowd wouldn't have taken more than that, would it? Gah! That's... He has a point, but... The fact is, I had an umbrella when it was raining. I guess it'd be inevitable to lose an umbrella in the panic, sir. Do you also intend to say it was inevitable his wound just happened to, to open? open. <laughs> so then, it wasn't? All we know is, the assassin's left arm is injured. Uh... Don't get that ice cream cone. Mr. Doe has such an injury. His left arm is even bleeding. Very suspicious, sir! The problem is how to link this fact to Mr. Doe. It'd be hilarious if he wasn't even the, like... The assassin. The assassin, and he just, he got hit by one of the bullets. He's just like, this is really bad timing. <laughs> I should use the R button to open up the organizer and review the evidence. Also, what do you think of the cross-examination music? It's good. It's basically the same as the first game, though. It's like a remix. That doesn't mean he was injured. Well, oh, actually, yeah, I hope that Francis does. comes back. <laughs> you hope that in every game, though. I do. I I'm a little bit... Yeah. Objection. <laughs> Object Sean. Everyone loves Object Sean. Nobody likes Sean. <laughs> Object to him. Mr. Doe, you seem to be a very cautious person. However, today seems to be different. Because you left this behind. You must be mistaken. That does not belong to me. Or perhaps you have evidence that proves otherwise? Mr. Doe, is your injury alright? The wound seems to have opened. Indeed, it is quite troublesome. <laughs> he just eats the whole ice cream cone and That's what I'm saying, like, how does he keep the entire ice cream thing on it, his face? It, I don't know. <laughs> yes, I'm sure it is. You have my deepest sympathies. After all, you would have escaped had your wounds not opened up. What do you mean? There is no mistaking that the one who wore this raincoat was injured. And I can prove that person was you. With this. <laughs> he 
<laughs> his ice cream is sweating. starting to sweat. <laughs> but he's not. Yeah. <laughs> On the inside of this raincoat, there is a small blood stain. It's the blood of the assassin. Oh yeah, you could just test that blood. <laughs> <laughs> Attacking the president is a serious crime, pal. You'll cause an international incident. That's not the worst he's done. Surely. <laughs> he's literally killed people as a profession. As a profession. <laughs> no matter how long you keep silent, your true nature shall soon come to light. A blood test will settle this. The blood from the raincoat and the blood from your bandaged arm. I just think it's so weird that he's just coming down <laughs> so quickly in such a small incident. Like, we had- he had, like, the radio thing in the mm -hmm. other game and, like, no one could catch him. And he's not been caught for years. And then Edruff just strolls in and is like, you have a red coat. You have an injury. <laughs> <laughs> You're dead. I have all the evidence I need. Why don't you just admit it? You're the assassin who attacked the president. I am not the assassin. You don't know when to give up. If this was a game of chess, you would have been checkmated a long time ago. Admit your grit defeat gracefully. No. Smoke bombs. He seems completely unfazed. I suppose I have no choice. I'll admit it. Indeed, the raincoat is mine. He confessed, sir! Arrest him! Arrest him! However, that does not mean I shot the president. What's that, pal? He literally said earlier, Oh, anybody who was wearing that raincoat's guilty. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Er, Prosecutor Edgeworth, all you have proven is that I wore the raincoat. What sort of crime is that? Um, let's explain this knowledge. Mr. Doe's testimony, part two. I am no assassin. I'm just a simple ice cream salesman. I wonder how often he goes to get his hair done. <laughs> You know, so, like, is there, like, an assassin salon? Oh, I'm sure. That, like, <laughs> they're like, okay, bub, do you want to get your hair dyed white? Or do you want to dye it pure jet black? Both, please. Both, please. <laughs> <laughs> All I did was put on that red raincoat and listen to the president's speech. It surprised me to see the bodyguards take action just before the gunshot ran out. Everyone in the audience immediately tried to escape, creating a state of panic. Are you satisfied this time? His story keeps getting fishier by the minute! He's really suspicious! G glaring at me won't help. We've got evidence. Here, look at this guy in the red raincoat. That's gotta be the assassin! I see. That is certainly not me. What?! Prosecutor Edgeworth, please consider this carefully. Was I really the only one who wore a red raincoat? Whether he was or not, the person in the photo can only be Mr. Doe. But why? This man's self-confidence and intensity. Well, making ice cream makes one very intense, sir. What? Do you have any idea how terrible it is to listen to the same ice cream meets the truck song over and over again? I don't think he's driving an ice cream truck. Can you imagine? <laughs> Children, get your ice cream here. Like, like he's an bad. assassin, but his side business to actually, like, keep the paycheck. Like, Because <laughs> killing people doesn't pay, apparently. And, no, killing people does pay, but you probably don't get more than one job a month. Because you got to <laughs> prep and you got to plan. So, like, oh, on the enough. side, like, to get some, like, sweet, sweet tips. Literally. <laughs> Literally. He's like... <laughs> he's like the, um... He's like the sweet tooth of assassins. <laughs> driving the ice cream truck. Taste the tooth. Taste the tooth. <laughs> I'm no assassin. I'm just a simple country bucket. As an ice cream salesman, you must know quite a bit. About ice cream. But of course. Ask me anything you wish. Curses! I don't know anything about ice cream! I've never even eaten it before! That's dumb. Hmm, so, um, what's the most important thing about making ice cream? Mr. Edgeworth? The most important thing about making ice cream is honor. Honor?! <laughs> Who is this guy, Zuko? Zuko? <laughs> <laughs> honor? To make ice cream? Without honor, ice cream is nothing more than sweet ice. Do you understand? I am just a simple ice cream salesman. That's not simple, that's weird. <laughs> All I did was put on the red raincoat and listen to the president. 
He flipped everyone off. It was most rude. <laughs> Why did you use a raincoat instead of an umbrella? Is it strange to wear a raincoat on a rainy day? It's strange to purposefully wear a raincoat when you can't get your arm into it. If both my hands were occupied, I wouldn't be able to serve ice cream. Why didn't you mention that in your testimony earlier? I'm terribly sorry. It must have slipped my mind. You blatantly said, I don't wear raincoats. I like umbrellas. I <laughs> like umbrellas. After all, I had just gone through all that. All that? The shooting of the president, of course. Him shooting him, you mean? It surprised me to see the bodyguards take action just before it ran out. Maybe they recognized him in the crowd. Right, maybe. Because, I mean, he's very distinctive, despite <laughs> being an assassin. Yeah. And he uses the same alias all the time. <laughs> John might be like, Doe. Like the, it's Morty Williams! It's Morty Williams! <laughs> Wait, guys, it's a disguise. They tricked us. It's, it's Morty, Morty Williams! Williams. <laughs> so the bodyguards reacted before the gunshot ran well? Yes, the bodyguards moved first. Why didn't they jump in front of him? The one on the left side of the stage in particular. You saw it all quite clearly. I have good eyesight. The, the names... one on the left. Wait, is it stage left or stage right? The That's left on the diagram. Important. Left, left on, on the, the diagram. diagram. Okay, so it's stage right. Um, the names on the are written on the upper left of the security plan. So not the guy who had the neck brace. Right, meant. right. Also, who hires a bodyguard that has a neck brace? Maybe he's just really good. <laughs> I don't know. The bodyguard on the left side would be Mr. Rook. That is correct. A Mr. Ethan Rook, I believe. Perhaps he noticed the light from the laser pointer. That man is no ordinary individual. How did you know about the laser pointer? From their actions, I don't believe that the bodyguards were amateurs. This man isn't an ordinary individual, either. Please add that statement to your testimony. As you wish. Seriously, how did he know about the laser pointer? Because we showed him the picture. Oh. Uh, the man on the left side of the stage was exceptionally quick. A Mr. Ethan Rook, as I recall. So the bodyguard on the left was faster. He reacted in just an instant. His response time was superb. I believe his name was Ethan Rook. Pull up the... I see. Wait. He had plenty of time to react. Yeah, that is a Rook. That would mean that in order for him to see him, he would have to be on the left side. Which puts him in the right spot to be the killer. Right? True. John Doe, yeah. Well, because his ice cream stands on the other side. Right. That's what I'm saying. He wouldn't be able to be like, oh! Not necessarily. His expression never changes. Everyone in the audience immediately tried to escape. But you yourself did not run? No, I did not. Aha! What were you doing then? Amidst the panic, someone gave my wound a big wallop. I was in terrible pain. I f it felt like sparks would shoot out of my eyes. But, but, in reality, no sparks came out. Sparks don't come out of people's eyes, Kay. The person who wore the red raincoat is the assassin. That's very clear from the photo. However... Mr. Doe's saying that the person wasn't him. That's just some story he made up, sir! Rip off his disguise, Mr. Edgeworth! Yes. In any case, I need to start exposing his lies. He's like, I'm right there, dude. <laughs> That's right! And in order to do that, we should press him for more details. So you're saying... I mean, that one he just added. So you're saying it's because his ice cream stand was on the other side, but he was on the left that would make him in the killer's situation? That would put him in the... Because he said he was wearing the red raincoat, right? Mm -hmm. We have a photo of the entire left side. He's the only one in a red raincoat if he's on the left and side. And by the way, you could easily see him from the right side of the stage as yeah, well. Yeah, but you have to be able to shoot. <laughs> so there's that. The other thing I was trying to figure out was if they were having the whole, except we know the killer's in the crowd, the whole stage left, stage right thing, mm -hmm. which is very different. Because the left side of the stage... For, for the, the audience, audience is stage right. completely different. Right. I know that. Um, yeah, because you work theater as well. Um, a terrorist in the audience? <laughs> what? They're actually all, everyone in the audience oh, was look, a terrorist. It was March 24th. 
Yes, it was. Um, that's close to today's date. That's close to today's date. That's why I was like, oh. So um, you, you want to wait? I want to. I want to look at the photos Kate took. So the cute selfie one. She's like, oh my god. <laughs> ah, my forehead broke out in a high. <laughs> so yeah, flat top is a rook, flat, and then nightly is rook, neck brace. He's he's on it, but why does it look like? Why does it look like they're holding open briefcases? That's what because are those, they are. What are those things? They look like briefcases. Or like shields. Shields? Yeah, but like, here's my thing. If the left guy moved as fast as they say he did, why didn't he like jump in front of the president? Unless well, he was, he's holding that in front of the president. Unless he was paid off or something. Oh, and then the final photo was... <laughs> That's the... Oh, my butt. Oh. <laughs> yeah, the butt photo. Um, so that... Is him in the photo? Maybe? We believe so, yeah. Can we, like, examine his shoes? I wish we could. No. It's probably my first thing, then. You are right for the wrong reason. Oh, that's fun. It seems you aren't just a simple ice cream salesman after all. That happens all. a lot, I've noticed. You think too highly of me, Prosecutor Edgeworth. Why would a simple ice cream salesman... Know the name of the president's bodyguard? Oh, yeah. Whoops. Also, best music in the series right here, I believe. The name of the bodyguard. Surely you jest. Isn't that in the first game? No. Didn't you say their names just a moment ago? Mr. Knightley and Mr. Rook. Correct. You knew the first name. This is a diagram of the security plans. We learned their names from this. However, please look. Only their surnames are written here. You distinctly said Ethan Rook. How did you know his full name when we did not? Well, you'll never guess it, but he came to my ice cream stand, and he ordered, like, three scoops of ice cream. They were all strawberry flavored. Ew, who would do that? Ethan Rook. Ethan Rook's like, this is the best He's flavor. like, I love strawberry, and then, like, he dropped one of the scoops... <laughs> on the way back, and then he was like... And then handed out his business card. <laughs> yeah, and then handed him the business card, like, Yo, you seem like someone who could use bodyguard. You're old. That's pretty weird, sir. Who would order free scoops <laughs> of strawberry? Why do you know his name? Explain yourself. That was merely a slip of the tongue. Oh, yeah. It's true. This guy's the assassin. Young lady, you're being a little hasty. <laughs> his ice cream is steaming now. That's great. <laughs> the reason I knew his name is quite simple. What? I am an acquaintance of Mr. Rooks. Um. What? You'll never guess it, but he hired... <laughs> he... Mr. Rook probably hired him to kill the president! <laughs> That's what you think? <laughs> yeah, because maybe... That's well, why he acted so quickly, because he knew it was going to happen. <laughs> yeah, and he wanted to make sure that he looked like he was trying to protect the president. Oh. As opposed to just like... <laughs> oh, whoops! Who could have guessed? <laughs> He and I have a bit of a connection. His is a name I will never forget. Oh, he betrayed his trust. Mr. Edgeworth, he's just telling a big fat lie. He probably hired him. Oh, and then, and then did the, and pull then the mat on guard? Pulled the mat on guard, but didn't get punished. And so he's like, I'm gonna kill him. Maybe he was trying to kill him. <laughs> but I accidentally shot the president and now it's an international scandal. Yeah, oh. maybe. I am terrible at aiming a gun. I prefer using knives. <laughs> I mean... There wasn't a gunshot in On Guard's case, right? No, he, he choked the guy with his scarf. Yeah, he, he prefers it swift and simple. Maybe he's um, like... Gun is way swifter than choking okay, no, someone. no, but I mean, like, he knows that he's dead and he doesn't have to aim. Because mm -hmm. he's old. <laughs> this is not a lie. I am just a simple ice cream salesman. And an acquaintance of Ethan Rooks. One time they went out to get ramen. <laughs> It was pretty great. In that case, let's just ask Rook himself about this. Whether or not he's acquainted with this dubious ice cream salesman. And then he hops over the fence and as, we never see him again. As you wish. However, that may prove difficult now. He is currently busy with the president's security, after all. Besides, even if I am not an acquaintance of Mr. Rook's, or even if I am, that does not prove that I... F does that prove that I fired the gun? If you aren't the assassin, then why did you remove your raincoat? It was a little hot, no, and if not. and the rain had stopped, I wanted to air out the wound. 
Is there a problem with that? You, you wanna... stuffed it under the samurai dog stand. <laughs> if you want to air out your wound, you take off the wrapping. Uh. It's like when you air off, like, a band-aid. You're mm -hmm. like, okay, I'm going to take off the band-aid for today. And then uh, I'm gonna I just can't on. seem to corner him. You can corner him. He'll be fine. Mr. Edgeworth, what are you doing? Hurry up and arrest him. That man's so suspicious, I'd even arrest him myself. And this pain is how you always <laughs> lose, lose every everything. <laughs> arrest him without evidence? How could I do such a thing? Come on, Mr. Edgeworth, can't you do something? Breaking news, the criminal's on the verge of escaping the prosecutor. Oh dear, they're already treating me like a criminal. I understand. Since I've been suspected this far, it seems I will have to tell the truth. Oh, right, because you the did truth? it before. I told you to tell the truth the first time. <laughs> what is he up to? I saw another person wearing a red hood. Is Little what? Red Riding Hood? What? Surely that was the person who was in the photo. I first noticed him right before the speech when uh, it was still raining. He caught my eye because his raincoat was the same color as mine. Well, we can just show him Kate's photo. In second. his hand, I saw a laser pointer with the light aimed directly at the president. It can't be. There was another person wearing a red hood. Oh, it was quite popular at the Hobby Lobby these days to buy that. Hobby Lobby? Where do you go to get your raincoats? I don't think I own a raincoat. I, I haven't owned either. a raincoat since I was eight I, years old. I determined yesterday I don't own rain boots either, so we j I oh, just oh, use my mom. I meant Hot Topic. Very different. Oh, Hot Topic, yeah. Starts with an H. Hot I'm... Topic, it would be a yellow raincoat, both because you could be like... <laughs> with the piercings. Man, you could be the man with the yellow hat, or you could be Coraline. Both. I knew that if I wore the red raincoat, I'd be mistaken for the assassin. That is why I took off the raincoat. You saw an assassin wearing the same color hood as yours? Hm. <laughs> Wouldn't that be a nice coincidence? That's what I expected you would say, which is why I did not testify as such. Prosecutors and the police are a suspicious lot. I knew that nobody would believe me. See, I'm I mean, wondering why he's doing this, because they're kind of at a standstill anyway before that, because Edgeworth's not going to arrest him without evidence, mm -hmm. and we'd have to wait for them to get out of the plane, and... He'd be fine. Yeah. So, At the moment of the know. incident, the assassin was very close to the prosecutor. Prosecutor, I only arrive after the incident. Not you, Prosecutor Edgeworth. Another prosecutor? That prosecutor over there. Oh, Winston Bain! Ha! Me? Yes, you should be visible in that photo. Here, right in front of the person in the red hood. Th that's me, alright! What's your point? What's this man driving at? I have been observing your investigation this entire time, uh -huh. Prosecutor Edgeworth. And I have noticed something strange. Something strange? Hmm. It seems you still haven't noticed this contradiction yet. A contradiction? In this photo, the people... <laughs> In this photo, the people who can be seen are the Chief, Mr. Payne, and the Assassin. I like how Payne actually kind of plays an important role in this yeah, case. Yeah, <laughs> I don't see anything strange. Please think back carefully about the circumstances during the president's speech. I believe you are holding the evidence that contradicts this photo. Do I have evidence that contradicts the photo? Um... <laughs> I hate you all. <laughs> I hate y'all. <laughs> Quack, y'all. Exactly. Um, person's left arm. Oh, is he using his left arm with the laser pointer or something dumb? No, it's not that. Uh, is it the fact that they're, right underneath her hair, there's another person with a red coat? But not with their hood up? What? There's only one person with the red... Underneath her, her bangs. What? Oh, no, there? that's... That's, that's no. not... Okay. That's that's a carpet. See, like there are the carpets rolled out on the stairs. Oh, it is. Yeah. Oh. No, it's not. I can see. Look up. Exit out. Look up here. That's hair. It's brown. No, it's not. Yes, it is. That's like the soil that the plants are in. Then why is there no soil right there? That's the red carpet. 
and see okay, how the that's red's not different. It, no. Okay, okay. I just wanted to check. What's the contrary? Blah blah blah. Also, look at the bodyguards. He's standing kind of far away from the other one. You see what I? Okay, not there. In the first In one. In the first one. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't want to get shot. <laughs> He's like practicing social distancing. <laughs> <laughs> This is gonna be okay. Hopefully, COVID nineteen will be long over by, by the, the time, time this gets uploaded. Yeah, no kidding. The way this is looking, this might be like close to one of my last let's plays. I do honestly. Why? I don't, you don't want to do the, more. I I really enjoyed let's playing, but there are other things I want to do. So yeah, that's fine. I might actually make this the grand finale of let's play. It would be very fitting. <laughs> it could be very fitting. Anyhow, um, if you if you don't know, that's fine. Uh, bleh. it only happened yesterday, but you know. You know, I'm still not. The right side of the balloon is ruptured. Two gunshots can be heard. That contradicts that photo. Is it just the other photo with the the mm. people running around? Want to try it? Sure, I don't. Know. Honestly, I'm not sure, but I'll present this. M Mr. Edgeworth, is it really okay to present evidence you're not sure about? In times like this, maybe you should hold back, sir. Hmm, yes, that's right. I, I didn't mean to go this far. It's a shame, but you should just accept your mistake and try again. Gah, not good. There's some girl with long hair that looks like Callisto Yu in front of them. <laughs> She's in jail. Uh, that we know of. It's Melisto Mew. Um... I don't know. Tape recorder. It can't be! There's a contradiction between the photo and the tape! It seems you've noticed. Mr. Edgeworth, what's going on? There is a person missing from this photograph. Huh? Who is it? Yes. It's rather strange. Someone who should be there, but is not. The person who should be in this photo is... Was Nicole on the left side? Yeah. Oh, then yeah, that's her. The president should be in the audience as well. <laughs> <laughs> this person, of course. Mr. Detective, what do you think? I, uh, just what I expected from Mr. Edgeworth. No! R right, Kay? M me? Uh, that's... Just what I expected from Mr. Edgeworth. Right, Mr. Doe? In a sense, it's just what I expected. Right, Mr. Prosecutor? Gah! I thought Nicole was on the right. That's what was no, up. no. Because she was on the right side when she was like, "Yo, yeah, yo." Yeah, that's true. Huh? M Miss Swift. Why would you say that? Mister Payne's voice was recorded on Miss Swift's tape. He was whispering quietly to the chief prosecutor. Those are from the folks standing in front of me. I reckon it was two older men. They kept on whispering to each other. It seems Miss Swift was near Mr. Payne when she recorded the speech. Ah! But she isn't anywhere in the photo! That is correct. Now, Mr. Prosecutor, who is the one you should be pursuing? I will laugh so hard if the actual assassin is not the assassin. <laughs> yeah. And he's just like, you're being an idiot. You need to go investigate the report. And, here's a, and she's just and like, again, oh yeah, here's, you know. here's another good reason why they didn't use Lada. So that way you actually could be suspicious of Nicole. Because otherwise you'd be, it's not Lada. Lada we heart. know it's not Lada. We know it's not Lada. <laughs> Nicole Swift, would you mind giving us your testimony? Come on. It feels weird when you talk all formal like that. It's fine. I ain't got nothing to hide. Miss Swift's testimony. It ain't like I stayed in one spot while I was recording. I was moving around the audience area, shuffling here and there. Um, how? There's ropes down the middle! You can't go from left to right! I reckon this picture must have been snapped at a different time than my tape recording. So quit making that scary face, it ain't what you think. It really looks like, if you just like, see it out of the corner of your eye, like the top of her coat, it looks like it says Zeus. 
Does it? I'll look M and see when it Ms. comes Miss Swift's back. tape recorded a conversation between my colleagues. Mr. Payne and the chief prosecutor. Why would Nicole be lying? That... that would be mean. That would mean... You didn't mean Nicole Swift is the assassin, pal! Y'all gotta be kidding me. I ain't done nothing like that. Uh, it's just, not Zeus, it's Cerise. I, I said out of the corner of your eye. It looks like Zeus. It's, it looks like Oos. Oos. And what else could it be but Zeus? I fly in Ikea. I fly at Ikea too. There's, there, no, there's a there's an Ikea thing on there. Oh, I'll have to check and look at that. Be that as it may, however, there is a contradiction in your testimony. Look, Ikea at the bottom. The, it's not Ikea, it's, but Ikeo? yeah. Ikeo? Ikek or something? I Ikeo? Ikeo? Uh, I don't reckon so. No, sir. It appears I must reveal this contradiction with evidence. We'll have to do that next time on Prosecutor's Edge Path. Edge of Investigations 2. Ain't like I stayed in one spot. <laughs> but you had to. Thanks, everybody. Tune in next time. Things are going to get exciting. Keep in mind, we're still at the Case 1 beginning. We have, we what have... are we going to do? Are we going to, like, take off in an airplane to chase the assassin? <laughs> and do, like, happy fun sub or whatever? <laughs> this may be the longest first case in the series. There was another really long first case, though. And I can't remember which what, game it was uh, from. Uh, the Apology Justice one? With the that poker? One was, oh, that one was longer. Also, um... Basketball Boy? Actually, that one was that only... That pretty short. That was only, like, four episodes, That was pretty I short. I think the one that was really, um... Was it Trials and Tribulations? The Dahlia case. With the Dahlia case. I'm pretty sure that one was... Was that the one with the electric... Yeah. Shock? Yeah, that one was long. Not super long. I mean, you only had a trial period, but mm -hmm. Phoenix kept being like, I couldn't have killed him. And I'm like, y you, 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 you kind of could. <laughs> like, come on. Anyhow, until we meet again, my friends, have a great day and God bless. <laughs>